capital or something. So our first line here um, will be the full paragraph and it's going to go to bloom. Uh, sorry, what is the, okay, I was going to ask for the paragraph ends. Uh, which means uh, he looked at his hand, uh, Tom looked at his hands, or, or just his hand. Um, yakudo no atomo kizuato sainai. Uh, which I believe means something to do with, uh, I know yakudo means like, like fireplace. Um, uh, yakudo means a burn, and he's oh, okay, okay. Oh, because Kizu, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so they checked for burns, but there weren't any, is roughly what it's saying. Yeah. Um, literally, it says there is not even a wound, let alone a burn. There's, there's no basically traces of a burn nor a wound, is uh, what it says. Saya here is like even. Oh, okay. So not even yeah. traces. Um, of what a does wound. the ato mean? Um, oh, sorry. So, I, I, oh, sorry. Okay. So, ato normally comes from the word afterwards, but it can also have this kanji for ato, which means like traces or leftovers. For example, ashi with this kanji mm -hmm. would insinuate footsteps, like uh, footsteps in, inside the dirt yeah. or something like that. So, it's probably this ato yeah. insinuating traces of a wound or traces of a burn. So kind of like something that'd be left behind. Okay, I see. Afterwards. I do recognize the kanji. Right. Would, uh, would burn marks also be accurate or is that yes. too spe specific? Burn marks is exactly what that would be translated into English. That would, that would probably be more natural. <laughs> yes, that would be perfect. The, the none of the translation tools came up with that. And I was like, maybe that's what that, but maybe that's what that means. That's what yakedo no ato means altogether. Okay. It's burn marks. But it's it's because it's um mm -hmm. it's it's not one word in Japanese, so it'd be hard for that to be in the dictionary with a no mm -hmm. in between it. Hi hi. And I didn't realize mm -hmm. how many sentences this paragraph was. So this next part, the last part of this paragraph, is actually going to go to uh, De Deanna. Ah, uh, that's weird. Uh, sorry, I would prefer to go by Danny, but it. Oh, uh, sure, Danny. Is Sounds good. I just didn't a different. Name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zui Zui Bun Nagaku. Uh, so, uh, for a considerably long time, Modu ni te o ono ni hai or i re. Ire ra re de ita. Um, oh my gosh, this is so long. Noni ato kata mo nainda nante. So for a considerably long time, modo um, inserted their hand into the flame. Um, is the first part of that sentence. And then atokata, atokata, monai, monai nanda is there's, um, there's no evident. There, it, there isn't any is monai nante. And then atak, atak, atokata is evident. So there isn't any evidence that model put their hands in the flame for a very long time yeah they could perfect hi hi and the nante is just there to show like the absolute um, I have surprise a question, if that's okay hi. yeah um, what's the question with uh for this sentence in mm -hmm. uh uh Ira is that mm -hmm. more uh I can't remember the, what the technical word for it is, but is it basically saying they were able to put the hand in the fire? So that would be hide it. Like for a considerable amount of time. That'd be hide it. Oh, okay. If okay, it said yeah, hide yeah. it, they eat that, then it would be they were able to have that be done to them. Which 
um, would be a theoretical way that you could read that. In this context, um, Danny shows correctly, which is iredu, I believe, because the idea is that Modo put the hand in the fire. Haidu doesn't take a O particle. So since there is a O particle in the sentence, it's mm -hmm. not haidu, it's iru. So because of that, iru is iredu. So the de is actually part of the verb. But um, without the O particle, it definitely could be haide da, which would have been the potential form. Um, but in this case, it is the transitive and transitive pairs. Okay, I see. Thank so, you. Um, yeah. And it's just, it's a passive form because Modo's doing it and not the subject doing it. So the one who put their hand in the fire is not mm. I, Modo put my hand in the fire. So, uh, I, I, Okay, cool. Um, this next line here is going to go to tree. Modo wa zukkari odoroite ita. Odoroite ita is the past form of to be shocked or to to be Hi. surprised, right, Mani? Yes, she was in shock. Uh, zukkari. I don't know zukkari. It's like completely, like 100%. Completely. Um, I, I, so Maud was completely in shock. Perfect. And this next little line here is going to go to Stella. Tsukarete iki ni toshi ita yoni mieta. So she like she's like that that first one um tsukare tsukareru is to be tired so she starts hai. to look tired and suddenly aged hi 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 and you can read the next thing too all right atashi ni wa kara nai iro I iro inaro iro iro na koto o mita yo modu wa yoyaku sa sayaita. Um, so she's seen various things. Um, what kind of various things? Understand? Like. Uh, Iru, iru, nakoto, o, and just, you know, various sorts of things. Hi, hi, hi. Moldo wa yoyaku sasayaita. I think you said that. <laughs> Say it again. Chu. Yeah. Iru, iru, nakoto. I guess it's like funny, like, they repeat that twice. Uh, she saw all sorts of things. She didn't understand all sorts of things. I don't know. It's like, so when they repeat things twice, you're just like, wait. Repeat over here. You're right. You did it. I, that's I the trauma. But yeah, that's definitely <laughs> trauma. Just being like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so many hi, hi. things. Um, the next line here goes to tree. To uh, mita. Aran, arana wa. Uh, shiri, Hi, this is pronounced uh, as Miyako, I believe. Miyako Omita. Look at the city. Or look at the capital. Hi. Um, um, she's... So there's no order in the in the Japanese sentence. It's Mita with a question mark. So in English, our question mark marker is the word do or did since it's the past tense. So Mita, oh, she asking, she asking the other Hi. person if, if the, other, if the other person saw the Miyago or not, or Miyako. Yeah, did and you see Arana, the Miyako, Shirata. which is um not really city, it's like a capital, <laughs> I guess, but it's basically city. Miyako, and then Shiritagata shiri, shiri means she she came to recognize. Good she guess. Saw it and she you know what tai it. means? Like shiritai? 
Thai is the want, the wanting one. So, so she tagata is e into past tense, so it's kata. So she wanted to, she do, she wanted to know. Hi, hi, hi. Um, Anana wa, sorry, Moldo, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one. Um, so that to or the miyako at the beginning could mm. also just be to for city. Um, and in the English translation, it would. Hmm? I I'm not I, sh I feel like when it's pronounced as told, oh, so that's actually my question. <laughs> hmm? I I think it's only pronounced as told when it's like married with something, like it's all on its own. So I think it has to be pronounced yeah, as miyako. Like, Toto or Toto. It has to be miyako. Okay, that was my. I thought think too, so. But it's, I didn't it Google it. Translation. Uh, so it just means that it's a big city, right? It looks like a very like, um. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like it's like you can use it like this, like like it's it just it looks like a city that would have like a palace inside of it is basically what it's being used mm -hmm. to mean. Um, so they're using that to give this idea yeah. of some kind of like worldly city versus city doesn't necessarily give that vibe in Japanese. They they're just trying to max like literal translation. There's if no reason that he would what, know it's a capital. If it was right? city. It would be Toshi, right? Probably. Um, if it was just uh, city. Yeah, they would probably use this kanji, but this feels like a, um, yeah, kind of like a current city. <laughs> how I would describe it, right? You could also use machi mm -hmm. for town, right? With the different kanji telling you how big the town mm -hmm. is. So I would say like Miyako yeah, feeds off that type of big city vibe, but feels more old. I don't know. It feels more yeah. fantasy. Okay, old, maybe. old, big city. Yeah. Um, if you said shuto, okay. uh, maybe I'm not pronouncing it right. There's something that sounds like um, shuto that's not shuto. Oh, that is this guy with that, that miyako to or the to from toshi. Um, this is the actual, mm -hmm. like, uh, capital, <laughs> I would say, type of word. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, if you're saying, like, the capital city of a place. So, like, I, that's what would be mm -hmm. if she knew it was like like if you said the capital of her country she would probably use shuto she would know that so i feel yeah. like that's just, why just I, what i know from the english translation imp like it translated to imperial palace when i looked it up and i was like well that's not right but, but big old city would make a lot yeah. more sense that, that, that's basically what to say yeah uh i got it moldo wa ana no she says, so Elena, she looks at Elena with a sharp look in her eyes and she says, no, I didn't see that. And this next little line here is going to go to tree. And then after that will be somebody else. Pamuwa shin. Shin o nori dashita. Nori das dot is it's like the lean he do he forward. do something with his body. Right. He lean forward. Tom's lean. Yes, Tom leans forward, and the rest of this line is going to go to Danny. Omai mo nanika mita noka. Um, you you also saw something. So no koe ni wa hodoku netsuga komo te uh te ta um okay so his voice uh uh komo te ita it was to, to be filled with. And then my question for the mm. Hidoku Netsu was the Hidoku, I think, translates directly to like, t like a terrible intenseness. And terrible. I yeah. got the feeling that it had like a negative vibe. Uh, but yeah. I guess like, is it terrible? I would say it's like the same as the English way. word just like terribly. Like, which um terribly I, I say it would be about the same as that which in its own should be kind of negative 
but it doesn't have to be negative. It just mm-hmm. means overwhelmingly type mm-hmm. of uh, and then that's it. Hmm. And this is I would say like like, like a fever or a like a passion. Yeah. Passion. Yeah. So like a terribly passionate. He was filled with a terrible passion yeah, in his voice. Fired up right now. Um, waku waku. I, so my question was, does that give you a negative vibe? Like he's too excited for bad reasons about that? No. Or does it seem like he's eager? And um, just, like very it, excited? It's, it's negative in a like overwhelmed kind of way, but not negative in a like, mm. this is a bad thing kind of way. Uh, Got it. Okay. Uh, oh, and then de- demo modo ga shumon o kakete, but mod cast the spell. Hi, 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 hi. And this next line right here is gonna go to Stella. Hmm. Chigau alana wa bishitori kaeta. So, no, Alana says very strongly, like. So I did have a question about this. Yeah, yeah. I had bishitoi. I found it like that one sharply, but there was also the sharply a few sentences ago with surudoi. What's mm-hmm. like the difference or is there any? Bisho is a sound effect. <laughs> That's the difference. Okay. <laughs> surudoi is a E adjective. Thank that's you. Started to that. That, that, I'd say that's the, dif- the difference. Um, I wouldn't really use surudoi with um, okay. sounds. So I feel like that's sudadoi is almost always used mm. with the eyes specifically. Um, it's almost always sudadoku me in some kind of ah. eyes. Um, so I guess that's that's the actual difference. But to me, I'm just like, hey, one's the one's the sound effect, <laughs> and sound effects tend to be less with visual things. It does like it could be visual, but in general, sound effects are a texture or a sound that that tends to be what they describe. Mm-hmm. Um, so something visual is less likely to have a sound effect for it. So like uh, even things that could be right. physical, physical, they're probably more talking about what that would feel like if you touched it. Like if you had a crispy food, right? Crispy is a visual thing, but they're more talking about mm-hmm. the texture of that crunch that things are happening. It could be that kata kata or whatever. Um, lights flashing is, is even though that's a physical thing, it's kind of more like the ah do you feel in your eyes <laughs> i guess it's like that like mm-hmm. that's kind of like the only uh i guess there's also cheat out gotcha the glance at something so i don't know i feel like they give off slightly different vibes as like sound effects it's not really like the way you look but what happens to looking mm-hmm. so in a way sound effects are closer okay. to knee adjective adverbs than than coup adverbs which i guess adds a whole mm. other realm to that uh, yeah. um, I haven't seen anything, nothing at all. And then I'm going to do this next paragraph is going to be Bloom because they haven't done something in a long time because I forgot about them. Sorry. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, Omo wa koko de, uh, koko de wa muri ji sezu ni ato de, uh, kikoto ni shita. Um, I'm not sure what muri ji means, but, uh, so... Tom. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so the G here comes from Tsuyoi, which is strong. And when you have a man who's like really strong, he doesn't listen to other people. So because of that, a lot of times Tsuyoi can be used to mean stubborn when it's um, added to another word. And moody means impossible, but not mm. like the word impossible means in English. It means more like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> that. That's impossible for me. I don't, I don't feel like putting the effort into that. So moody G means being so stubborn, it's impossible to get somebody to do something. So it's just a way to say stubborn. Okay. So, uh, Tom, so in this case, it means uh, uh, decided forcing, that... I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tom decided that they would um, ask about it later without being pushy. Okay. Is that roughly yes, what it would Yes, that's mean? exactly what it says. Um, I'm not sure what that word is. Obiru? 
Oh, I feel like yeah, it, it, they've done this before already, where it's like, if I saw the kanji, I'd probably know what it was. Never mind. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, the first kanji is right, but it's a compound word, so obiekiru. So, obiedu, you have probably seen this before as obiedu, but maybe not as a kanji. That is to be frightened. Um, and they've added kiru to uh, okay. mean the cutoff point of frightenedness, as in there couldn't be any more frightenedness, so you gotta cut it off right there because there's no more frightened someone could get. So, it means to be completely frightened. Like at that limit, sort of thing. Hi, exactly. Of like, they're as, as frightened as they could be. Exactly. Um, I'm sure I'm not sure what the sentence means then. Hi, so he's added this to like the previous if... sentence. He said he's going to ask later without pushy at what time the time where Alana is oboi ki te inai. And she is not. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense now. Yeah, it didn't make sense out of context. That was why I didn't get it. Okay. Um, um, Tom, uh, turned towards mode and asked them, well, I gave them a strongly asked them, so, or, and, in sort of like Perfect. a semi confrontational sense. Hi, hi, hi. Yep. So he's going to ask later when Alana is less shivering in her boots. Um, this next paragraph is going to go to Stella. Chiroishi no onna wa tame i iki o suita. So, um, is that first, the first words medic or healer, right? Yes. Okay. So the, um, healer woman, um, she sighs. Side. Right. Wakata yo. Ashita. Atashi wa tom to tom to kamigami no miyako ni iki iku to shio. So the um tomorrow um myself and Tom will go to the capital Hi. of the gods. Yeah, perfect. Um, I gotcha. And just so you know, this is being pronounced as Asa here because Moldos talks funny. Ah. <laughs> Rather than Ashta. It has the exact uh, yes, same meaning, I get for coffee exact same paper. kanji. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm just letting you know. Mm -hmm. uh, this next line is very Thank long, you. so we're going to skip over to Bloom doing it. Uh, is that right? Is that the dawn of the next day? Yes. I don't remember the pronunciation. Um, uh, hmm, I don't know that one. Uh, itsu, it means one letter. Uh, like, like a physical letter? Yes, or it's a counter of letters. Like a character. Uh, tegami. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, hi, hi. Uh, Tsutsu, uh, Fuin, Sta, Tegami, or Watash, Watash, this, Fuku, Fuku. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, or, uh, Stasuke, uh, I've seen that word. What is it? <laughs> I want to say Mokuhyo, like but I don't think that's right. I don't think it's Mokuhyo. Sorry, yeah, say again? Uh, I was like, Sashizu? Sashizu? Oh, that's not it. It starts with Sashi, and then it's Shimeru to indicate... Wait. Yeah. Sashi? 
What is the second kanji when it's read on song? Got it. Uh, uh, it's like hyoji for like showing or hyoji displaying. Instructions. I mean, it's it is going to mean like instructions, uh, as because it's to point and to show. Is it pronounced as mm -hmm. hyoji? Is that why you said that? Because it's. I think it's to like oh, indicate. Right. Yeah. I think it's like indication, right? Yeah. Oh, it's cheesy. Uh, indication. Yep. Cheesy. Hi, cheesy. Okay, thank you. Uh, more than the cheesy or a type of. Um, so. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. No, you're good. Um, the dawn of the next day. Um, the. Uh, twins or the the children of House Allen, I'm assuming is what it how you pronounce it in English. Yeah. Um. Uh, they. Uh, sealed two. They sealed one letter and. Uh, I've seen Shukufuku, but I don't remember what it is. Um, uh, Shukufuku is like, um, to give someone blessings. The mm. give being the Sazaju part. So they sealed the letter and. Um... So they actually watashita the letter. Kodomo tachi ni watase. The itsu fuinshita part is. Oh, I'm sorry. The fuinshita part is a relative clause describing which letter they were watashita. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just. I, yeah, that makes sense. I read it wrong. Uh, so they. I'm not sure what Sazukeru uh, means, um, but they convey oh, their that's, blessings that's, that's the give. to the give blessings to oh. the sealed letter <laughs> to the kodomo. That's um, why it's the knee for kodomo tachini. So to the children, they were handed a oh, letter okay, okay. that was sealed, and they were also given blessings. Um, how many letters were the twins given? One. Actually, one each? there were two letters. One each. Hi. Zutsu means each. one. Yeah, okay. Oh. One for each twin. And what happened after each twin was given a letter? Um, they... They gave the... They gave indications to the. I, I, I'm thinking it maybe means like they gave the regards. I would say order is how I would tr translate that. Or directions mm -hmm. or instructions. Because um, Koramu is um, the male babysitter. And Modo is the female babysitter. Mm. Like that's their names, mm -hmm. not, not their job. So. So what happened is that the twins were being told, I love you, goodbye, safe travels, here's your letter. And then the babysitters were like, you guys better keep those kids in good behavior. You better, better watch them out, right? So they were given mm, instructions. I see, I see. So even though that means indication, it's just like, you do that. I, sh I, tell, I show you what you should do. Yeah, it is a hard okay. word. I see. Um, next Thank line you. here is going to go to tree. Money, the kanji Hi. earlier for indication, is it C, CT, you say? CG. CG. Oh. Hi. Wakata. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I hope Danny saw that. Uh, so, ko, koramu wa. Mada. This is a map. Tegaku? Uh, this is Keikaku, which means plan. Keikaku. Keikaku no henko. Teka no henko o. Shiranakata. So, Tom 
uh, Koramu. did not knew. Uh, Kuramu did not know that. He did not know up to the extent that there was a change of plan. That the chain was, yes. the plan was changed. Yes, he did not know the plan was changed. Hi, and Kuramu is the male babysitter. <laughs> Just repeating that again. Uh, <laughs> next next line is oops is a uh, Stella. Terubondo o toku hanareru made arana wa kolumi oshiru tsumori wa nakata. So <clears throat> Alana doesn't intend to tell um, Colum until they were far away from uh, Trebondo. Perfect. And our next line is long again, so I'm going to make Blo Bloom do it. <laughs> okay. Um. Arankyo no, oh, sorry. Um, Arankyo no hea kara deru to Orama ga uma o uh, shiyoshiteru aida ni, aida ni? Ah, I forgot. Um, modo wa futago uh, Arana no hea ni surete ita. Hey, have um, you not seen Aida before? Uh, yeah, I, I, no, I, I realized that it was that, but then, um, oh. I don't know why my brain translated it as Aipe, oh, like, you know, like, totally different. like your opponent. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they, when they left from the, it, it just says room, but like, yes. It's just like the room I, I'm from the like mansion, their... basically. Their, their room from the castle. Okay, just a room. Hi. Um, the room that uh, their father is in. It's just what it was the previous room they were in. I the kyo. I'm actually you're right. That is the <laughs> the room their father Sir, was in. You're Sir right. Alan's room. Yeah, Lord Alan's room. You're right. <laughs> good, good, good point. Because. Because they were given, remember, uh, um, two fuku, well wishes. So their dad was like, safe travels. So once they get, they were given safe travels, they left the room the dad was in. Hi. Um, so they left from the room while... Um, what I know? I didn't... What, how would you pronounce their name in English? I Just Karan? Corin? Corin. Corin. I think it's Corin. <laughs> um, uh, they left the room while they were um, using one of the horses, like horse riding. Plus, um, Yui is to prepare. While... Um, so he was preparing uh, the horses, okay. so putting the saddles on them, things like that. Uh, I read it as sure. That's, that's why I got my I know. Stuff. You read it differently. <laughs> Um, I should I should have pointed out, but I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, and mode was uh standing outside the room. Uh, to or, the, room? or was to it in the, Alana's room? N would be how you could translate that. Um, to 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 the means like to go go along with. Um, so mode went along, hmm. like went with other people to the, um, Alana's room and the people she went with is, has the particle O, which is the twins. So in other words, it says modo and the twins went to the room is a perfectly way you could translate it. But literally it says mode took the twins to Alana's room. It's probably how I would translate. It. She took them. The tuku okay, here is, sense, yeah. um, to attach. Tuku. 
to get it. Hmm. Get it. So the idea is you're attaching yourself to another human being um, to go along with. Um, hmm. The next line here is going to go to tree. Tsuguni tegami no uo kiri. Tsugini, it's a time phrase, like right afterward, right, Mon? Yes. Like right the next thing, yeah. So, um, and then na, naka shin o yomu. So right after uh, he breaks the seal of the letter and he read the, the content, he, he, he read the content or he read, he read the content of the letter. Perfect. And apparently it's Koram, Koramu, pronounced pretty much the same, not corn, and <laughs> Maude or Maud, Maud. I would have pronounced as Maude. <laughs> it's Maud. It's pronounced probably how it's Maud, probably read that. Oh, um, next line here is going to go to Danny. We also haven't done something in a long time. Um, Awan kyo wa mutsuko no seiwa o nakusen ie no garusu garesu garesu um okay so lord allen uh, uh uh what does takushite that mean uh sorry which one? Oh, uh i which which part Okay, yeah, so I, I realized I didn't get that far, so I don't have a verb yet. Oh, yeah, that, that's <laughs> um, probably your issue. <laughs> that would be my issue. Koshiaku musume no seiwa o shudoen shou no omemi no miko ni taku shiteita. So taku shiteita. Shiteita is to entrust, and then he is entrusting his son to one person and his daughter to another person. Hi. So his son's care, he is entrusting to a very the the Duke Gareth of House Naxon. That is some some English spellings. That is. <laughs> um, and then his daughter. This one was. <laughs> yeah. Uh and then his daughter's care he entrusted to the mother like the leader of the convent of the daughters of the goddess. Uh I wasn't sure how got... Miko and Miko is basically priest, related right? to each other. <laughs> it's it's the she's the the priest it, of the goddess that is the it, head of the thing, isn't it? Miko? It's the Priest of a Shinto shrine. It was like a, sh a shrine maiden, but yeah. in the translation, but also she's the the head of it. So I was yeah. not sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's the head shrine maiden. It's probably how of the monastery. It's probably how we translate it. Separate the of head the of the monastery. Of, separate of the goddess. <laughs> of the goddess. Yeah, it's, yeah. It does not flow super well. Uh, a lot of a lot of titles for that lady. Uh, next line here is going to go to tree. This kodomo ni kodomo tachi no something yo, uh, something de te. Uh, he. He yo wa toshi ni. Uh, yong, yong kai, yong do, uh, okori mas. Yo. You're right, yong do, from tabi ni, um, ichi do. Mo ichi do ite kadasai, no do. Do, do, mo ichi do. So yong do four times okori mas to arrive. 
No, all three of us is to, to, to catch up. No. Uh, Your first guess was closer. Okuru is to send something in the mail. Okurimas. Okurimas. So to send uh, four years ago, a year ago, um, for the cost for the cost of the of the children, the cost of the children were sent um, a year ago last year um, four times. That's a good guess. What tense is okurimasen? Uh, it's present Not tense. Uh, fu Hi. No, non -past. Future. No. Future slash present. Um, present tense isn't happening right now is teiru, with a couple of exceptions for certain verbs. So, okutteiru would mean the letter is in the act of being sent, while okuru or okurimasu would mean the letter will be sent. So, it says the letter will be sent four times a year. In this case, the, the cost will be sent. The, exp the, the funds will be sent four times in the year. Mm. I, and mm. next line here is going to go mm. to um, Stella. Sensei gata kago handan shite shikaru bakito ki ni kodomo tachi o ie ni okai shite kudasai. So what's being asked is to please return the children home when the teach when the teachers judge it. And then what's um mm. so what what's happened Shika Shikaru Beki? Uh Shikaru Beki is um Shikaru is uh, to scold somebody. So when you ought to scold somebody. Right. When you ought so to turn, scold. So return them home if they're trouble? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, the rest of this letter, because this is just what, like, the letter is basically saying is going to go to Danny. Jibun, can you ni izogashiku? He's very busy with his studies and research. Uh, sorry, so sochi ra no go. Um, handan ni subete o ma o ma. Um, okay, so he's very busy with his studies. Uh, Andan is he will uh, is is the judgment. Um, she must is to to leave a decision to. Yeah, I'll leave the so decision to He would to leave who? the judge right. to the people he was entrusting the care hi. or the, the teachers, sensei, hi, hi. sensei from before. Um, at, he would leave all of the, the judgment of those types of decisions to the teachers. I don't know what the si sochira no go is. So, sochira, so you've heard, you probably heard kochira, right? Kochire dozo. It's what a um, mm. a waiter will say when they want to lead you to the chair. That's because kochira means in the direction of where I stand. So the opposite of mm. kochira would be sochira, which is in the direction of who I am talking to. So in this case, sochira is basically mm. acting as a polite way to say you. So it's a way to say your judgment. Mm. But literally it says mm. that side's judgment to be because use not polite in Japanese. Hi, hi. Uh Gon wa wasuremasen. I will not forget this um favor you give me. Um Reto Bondo Ka no Aranakyo. So Lord Alana from the Retobon's um family. 
And this line right here is going to go to Bloom. Um, Oh no. Uh, wow, how do I, how have I forgotten how to say this one? My uh, There we go. Uh, my toshi, uh, ikutsumo, uh, shudoin to kyuden ni okurareita. Um, so letters like these, or, uh, yeah, letters like these were sent, um, ikutsumo? Does that mean like never or? Because I know it could uh, mean never could be like is the when, verb in negative right? tense. Uh, no. Hi. So if it was negative, then it would mean never. But because it's positive, it means um okay. always. Always. But that doesn't sound right in English. So instead, right. we'd say um multiple times. Often. Often. <laughs> So, uh, there were sent letters like that, um, multiple times a year, um, to the, um, palace and the, uh, Shudoin. I forget what that one is. Uh, the Shudoin is the monastery. Or hmm. the I, woman, I, I figured it was um, like the religious thing. Hi, hi. On the... yeah, it's, it's yes, the possible like location that one takes their path of training um right kizoku no musume wa shudoin de manabi 15 roku sai ni naru to kyute ni itte a fufu o sagasu um so the daughters of nobles um they learn at the um monastery for um and um then they uh go over to the capital when they become 15 or 16 years old and once they go to that capital they're off to go look for a husband and i pronounced that wrong whatever husband is in japanese is it futo <laughs> yeah, futo. so they go off to go look for a husband so they look at the monastery, look for a husband, gotta find their boyfriend. And that is where we'll pause for today. Uh, any questions before we go? Read our nice two pages. No questions for me. No Money, do we have these scans? Yeah, yeah. You do have these scans, on, on the chat. Yeah, if you go, if you go to the Discord, right? It has chat, resources, announcement. If you click resources, it's right here is chapter one. That's the scans. Um, and the scans is just, you know, a bunch of pictures. Um, it's not in a PDF file. Hi, thank you, Moni. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it then. I'll be seeing you guys.